But I didn't hear anything for a year and finally found out that they had to change some wording on some of the things that were happening, but everything was ultimately going to be fine. Over that year of me not knowing if the opportunity, the career that I was absolutely going all in on was even going to exist, the next second I could get a phone call and say it's over. Over that year, I sold probably 25, 2600 life insurance policies, all while not knowing if the next day I would be able to continue doing it. You talked about, obviously right now, everyone has doubt. Right? Everyone's going through doubt. Doesn't matter if you're a business, doesn't matter where you have a bunch of clients right now or you have no clients or you're out of a job or you have a job. So um, you said the difference between someone who's successful and someone who isn't successful, whatever that is, whatever their goal is, is effort. And this is something that I've seen a lot in the recent podcasts and things that we've done, especially with, with Tom and Joe, is discipline. Either it's either you be disciplined now or discipline's gonna come and find you. What are the things that are day to day that you do? Doesn't matter, you know, necessarily that you have a goal, but what are the things that you know you have to get in during the day? And we talked about working out, but what are some things during the day that you say, I have to get this done in order to, for whatever goal, I know in the future I may want to do this, but just to stay disciplined, putting in that effort when everyone else has doubts? Yeah, so I think the, that's a good question. I think it really boils down to when you talk about the effort that whether you have doubts or whether there's uncertainty or whether there's fear or not, that action is the only thing that can combat a fear. Action's the only thing that can combat doubt. Action's the only thing that can uh, affect uncertainty. And so what most people do is they become paralyzed in those situations. Like, oh, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what I should do, so I do nothing. What's also true is that when you have a lot of different things to do, you can tend to do nothing. And so it's just this idea of just doing something. You know, just doing one thing that's productive today. Um, so for me, you know, that looks very different day to day. Right now it's very different during this crisis that we're in. Um, it's a lot of reactive stuff of, you know, changing scripts and reaching out to agents to role play through those scripts and just reaching out to agents to make sure they're doing okay and asking them how that can help. But I think that there's reactive and proactive things that I'm doing as well. Um, but when it comes to like a day to day, I mean, the only thing that you can control is the things that you can control. And so with so much out there right now that we can't control, like we can't control whether the government says that we can go certain places, we can't control, you know, whether our family is affected or not to some degree. Um, there's so much that we can't control that we have to double and triple down on the things that we can, which all boil down to your effort. Like what is something that you can do? Like if you feel like you're in that paralyzed state, like what is one thing that you could do today that would move the ball forward? And that one thing for some people maybe read a book or maybe like watch a podcast or a blog or you know, watch incredible content like this that we're putting out. Um, but for other people it may be like, well I could call all my existing clients and just check on them and see how they're doing. Uh, there's always things that you can do and you have to focus on those things especially when it becomes uncertain because i think it's a tony robbins quote um, where he says like the, you know the most successful people are the ones that can operate in the most uncertainty and for me that's been a big part of why i think i'm an owner of this company is because there were different times and different seasons throughout my career in selling where there was a lot of uncertainty but i just kept doing exactly what i was doing every single day and pretending like it didn't even exist it's almost like i had to put a mental block in place like like the specific example that's gone out on a few videos was literally like half a year in to me starting this career and i was making incredible money going from being flat broke to like incredible money and the department of insurance called me one day and there was some like stipulation on one part of the way we were doing something where they were saying they needed to investigate it to see if it was something that was allowed or not allowed to be done. And if it was not allowed, that would mean that I, literally I couldn't do business in Georgia. And so I took that and they didn't say that I needed to stop. But they just said that they're gonna start this investigation. I didn't know if that investigation was gonna be a week or a year, it ended up being over a year. But I literally took that information and put it like in the very back of my head and just completely blocked it off. And literally when I hung up that phone call, I walked into 
a, a department and sold a bunch of life insurance. And over that next year and a half, sold like almost 3,000 policies, not knowing if I was gonna get a call the very next day that says you can no longer do what you're doing. And so being able to operate in uncertainty is one of those things that makes you indispensable as an employee, as a business partner, um, because there's like, we're facing one of the biggest ones of our lifetime right now, but there's gonna be more uncertain times in the future. Like when we get past this, things are gonna happen, obstacles are gonna pop up that were completely unexpected. And so if you can become a person that can just name that uncertainty and then not bottle it up, but just block it from controlling your mind and go back to, okay, had that not happened, what are the things that I would do today and just do those things anyways, are going to, again, separate the ordinary from extraordinary, the successful from the, the good to great, you know, all that kind of cliche stuff. But it, it, it's, it's very true that the greatest entrepreneurs, the most successful people in the world, every single one of them operated at a high level during very uncertain times. And if you know that to be true, and if you just believe that that is truth, then I want to be like those guys. Like I want to operate like that woman. Like I, I want to do the things that successful people are doing. And if that's just one of those things, it just has to be something that I adopt.